All right, the Zero Shoes here. I've been testing out all these different shoes over the past couple of weeks, which are the Classic Prio, my current favorite in the HFS, and the most recently released Zelen. Uh, in this video, I'm going to cover some of the differences between the pros and cons of each shoe and why you might want to pick up one over the other. Hey guys, Dr. Michael Tang, physiotherapist here. And I want to start right into this review talking about the types of shoes that these are. For those of you guys who kind of just clicked onto the video without knowing what the Zero brand is all about, they are a type of shoe that is considered either a barefoot shoe or a minimal shoe, which means that the whole goal of the shoe is to have the shoe allow for the foot to move how it would naturally move if it weren't wearing any shoes at all, which really just means that the shoe is going to have some space in the front for your toes to be able to open up. The material is going to be flexible so that you can kind of go in any direction that you want. And the bottom of the shoe is going to be completely flat so that it doesn't change the height of where you're resting or walking or whatever. Overall, that's the general gist. Uh, but if you want a little bit more information about it, I made a whole separate video going a little bit deeper into the topic. So I'll leave a link in the description box below. But let's start with probably one of the most important aspects of a barefoot shoe, which is how wide is the toe box of these shoes? Now, as you probably would have expected, given that all of these shoes are made from the same company, from the same manufacturer, the width of the toe boxes are relatively the same. Who would have guessed, right? Anyways, I measured them all across the bottom of the toe box area, and they are all roughly 11 to 11 and a half centimeters across. For a point of reference, I have another pair of shoes that are not barefoot shoes, and they are roughly 10 to 10 and a half centimeters across. From this view, it becomes pretty obvious that the normal shoe is significantly more narrow. And for some context, I wear a size 10 in normal shoes, but interestingly enough, according to the website, they did recommend getting a half size up for the HFS. So for me, that would be a size 10 and a half, which is kind of weird given that, you know, the Prio and the Zelen are size 10. But when I got them all to the door, they were all relatively the same size. For me specifically, 11 centimeters is just enough space for me to put on shoes while wearing some toe spacers and still have enough room for my toes to wiggle around. Uh, I found that the bare minimum cutoff for my foot is roughly 10 and a half centimeters, as I discovered when I was wearing another pair of barefoot shoes by the Witten brand. Now in those shoes, my pinky toes were hitting the side lateral edges of the shoe uh, when I was wearing my toe spacers, but otherwise, for a normal day-to-day -day wear, they were pretty much just fine. But I wanna point out that all of these comments are specific to my own foot, and I would consider my foot to be relatively average foot shape. For more than likely, your foot is going to be a little bit different from mine, not exactly the same shape. But in reality, if you've never worn any barefoot shoes in your life, then it probably won't matter anyways because of how much of a difference the barefoot shoes or the wider shoes are in comparison to a normal shoe that's not barefoot per se. And then for those of you who are already wearing some barefoot shoes, then you can just quickly kind of just measure your own shoe or your own foot and you can make a quick judgment whether or not a shoe like this is already enough. But enough about just the dimensions of the shoe, how do they actually feel on your foot? Now, I wanna start off with the HFS just because it's a shoe that I've been wearing for a while. For a point of reference, these are my old ones I've been wearing in red. The treads and stuff are all worn down because I've just been wearing them for the past six, seven months. Uh, but lo and behold, I actually bought a new pair specifically for this video just to give you guys a closer comparison of how it would feel like out of the box if you were to just get it. And also for the fact because I just like this shoe. <laughs> but yeah, throw a like on the video just for that extra commitment. Now that I am revisiting them, I notice that these shoes kind of have a little bit more of a narrow profile, which kind of hugs your foot. And it is a bit more emphasized when you go ahead and pull the laces tight. 
There's actually something that I had missed in my previous review of the HFS, as some of the comments in my prior video had mentioned. These shoes have a hurric or a dynamic hurricane hurricane lacing system. That's some fancy gibberish to kind of just say the lacing system, although it's on the top, it goes through the entire shoe through the sides and all the way into the back to tighten up the entire shoe. It's a little bit hard to see on the HFS. It's more obvious on say something like the Prio where these lines here, they kind of go all around and when you tighten them up, it tightens up the entire shoe. On these particular shoe, all the materials are very light and soft, meaning that most of the support that you're gonna get in this shoe is gonna be coming from the laces. And comparatively to something like this, the Prio, the materials of the shoe are what I would consider to be a little bit more generic. It's not super lightweight, but it's also not very heavy. The materials on the top are a little bit more stiff, almost like a leather type of material, which gives it a little bit more rigidity. Best way to describe the shoe is that it kind of just feels like a normal pair of tennis shoes, which is why I actually use these shoes to play pickleball. The shoes has a wider profile, and even though the materials are a bit stiffer, they actually feel more relaxed and, and loose compared to the HFS just because of the wider profile. And then that brings me to the Zelen. And I'm gonna be honest, I don't really know what the whole point of the shoe was because the shape of it is like the HFS and the materials are slightly different. You have a little bit harder material here and like kind of a lace thing uh, until I tried the shoe. And the best way I can describe them is that they are a in-between of the HFS and the Prio. Uh, the shoe has a narrow profile just like the HFS, but it is a bit more rigid, but not as rigid as the Prio. And just like the other two shoes, it has the dynamic lacing system, the thing that I can't pronounce. But outside of just the features of the lacing system, how do the, all of these shoes kind of perform when you're doing different activities? As mentioned earlier, I wear my Prios to play pickleball, but I really think that they are what I consider to be just kind of an all around shoe without any specific particular purpose. Uh, comparatively to the HFS and the Zellens, these are designed to be running shoes. Best analogy I can give is the Prios are kind of like a generic SUV. The HFS is more like a sports car, lower to the ground, faster, stuff like that. And then the Zellen is going to be a hybrid cross between the two of these shoes. To test out these shoes, I use them for walking, lifting weights, and occasionally playing some sports like basketball or or pickleball. And yes, I know that the HFS and the Zellen are marketed as running shoes, but I did not really test them for running because I'm not much of a runner myself outside of light jogging to warm up. So I will leave that running review for someone who is a bit more of an enthusiast. However, I will say that when I did go ahead and jog on a treadmill, the HFS did feel the best out of the bunch because it was the lightest and I just enjoyed the snug feel on my foot. Uh, but really it's only a slight edge over the other two shoes. So for daily wear, I think all the shoes are pretty good. It's slightly biased towards the HFS just because I like how they feel on my foot. But in terms of versatility, I'm gonna have to give the edge to the Prio just because I felt like I could do more stuff and more scenarios with this particular shoe. The HFS and the Zellen felt a bit sportier, as if they were more suited towards active activities, but that doesn't really mean that they don't work as normal shoes, because they definitely do. And then when it comes to lifting weights, I like the Zellen and the Prios for this. The Zellens kind of feel almost like a CrossFit shoe, like similar to like a Nike Metcon. They are definitely not Nike Metcon, but the heel is more reinforced, so it makes it a little bit more stable in the back compared to say something like the HFS where it kind of just squishes all directions. Um, the increased stability in my heel is definitely preferred when I lift weights. So Zellen and the Prios, but if we're talking about just overall for the lifting weights activity, I would give the edge towards the Prios just because it is not as narrow as a profile and the wider feel 
I don't know, it, it just felt the best when it came to lifting weights. And then finally getting into the activity of playing basketball or pickleball, which I don't really recommend, but you know, I did it anyways. The Prio came out on top in this fashion because there was the most traction on the shoes and it had slightly more cushion in comparison to these two. The HFS and the Zelen, the tractions were pretty much identical. So as you would have expected, they are the same because the soles are the same. But honestly, when I play basketball, outside of light shooting or light warm up, normally I just switch into basketball shoes. And finally, into the aesthetics of the shoes. For all the shoes here, there are a bunch of different colors to choose from, from both the women's and the men's selection. I would recommend that you go ahead and check the website to see all the different selections that they have. Now, I think that the HFS is the best looking shoe just because of how sleek it is and also I'm biased towards it, followed by the Zelen and then at the end with the Prios. Uh, the Zelens, I think they look okay. I'm not for it or against it. And the Prios, they're just kind of plain and lackluster. But really all of these shoes, they kind of just look like gym shoes and I really wouldn't consider them to be that fashionable compared to say something like another shoe like the Vivos that I have. But some other considerations for these shoes are that they are not water resistant at all. Despite what the marketing says about the water resistance, in my experience, any time that there was water, my foot was gonna get wet nine times out of 10, and that is with me actively trying to avoid the water. And also, for those of you who run at night and you want some reflective materials, so you know that you don't actually get hit, the only the Prio and the HFS kind of had the reflective material, but it only depends on the colorway as well. Because if you check out the HFS, this one kind of doesn't really have it. Whereas my old one, my red pair, it was more reflective. So you gotta check out the colorways on the website. Even then, some of the colorways, they even have different prices, which is interesting. Because the Prio, I would say it comes in roughly at $90. The HFS comes in roughly at $120 and the Zelen comes in roughly at 130. Uh, and that puts that squarely in the middle of the pack in the barefoot shoe world. But I do know that they go on sale periodically on their website, so make sure that you check it out before you decide to kind of pick them up. Which then goes to the question, which shoe should you pick up? If you're completely unsure and you don't know which way after all of what we've just gone through, probably picking up the Prio would be the best bet just because it's an all-arounder for most activities. Now, if you're specifically looking for running, probably the HFS is great, slim profile, made as a running shoe, reflective, all the good jazz. And if you're looking for something in between, then maybe the Zelen would be a great pick. For me, I continue to enjoy the HFS uh, the most just because of how it fits my foot, specifically my foot, but I've also gained a pretty great appreciation for the Prio for what it can do. Um, and how versatile it is. I have links to all the shoes here in the description box below if you're interested in picking any of them up, which leads me to ask, you know, if you're gonna pick them up, which one are you deciding to go with? Leave that in the comments below and hit the like button to let me know if you enjoyed this particular video and hopefully you subscribe to the channel if you don't wanna miss videos just like the one like this for the future. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.